Hi, my name's Ken Kurtz. I'm a product manager with Paracom Semiconductor. Paracom's product lines include signal conditioning devices, which we call redrivers. Paracom supplies protocol-specific redrivers for Gen 1 and Gen 2 PCI Express, for SATA 2, for SAS, Zowie, HDMI, and DisplayPort. Redrivers are used in storage systems, desktop and notebook PCs, servers, and telecom equipment. Today, I'll show a PCI Express Gen 2 redriver and how using it can improve system reliability and performance. Here we have an off-the-shelf PC motherboard. It provides a slot with 16 lanes of PCI Express Gen 2, each operating at 5 gigabits per second. I also have a standard PCI Express Gen 2 graphics accelerator card, and as you can see from the monitor, the system is booted and running nicely. Next, I'll use this Intel reference load card to which we have some scope probes attached to one lane so that we can look at the quality of the PCI Express signal. First, I'll power down the system. We'll install the load card and attach the scope probes. We'll power on the system. One more button push to put it into a 5 gigabit per second data rate. You can see on the scope that this signal is very clean with an open eye and not much noise or jitter. This is a good quality signal with good margins and will become a reference for the next test. Now consider a system where the endpoint device is not just a few inches from the host controller. An example would be a server system where the PCI Express Gen 2 communication must cross a backplane, a riser or midplane card, or even over a cable. Here, I'll use the short 12-inch passive PCI Express extender card to emulate operation over just 8 inches of a real-world motherboard. Again, I'll power down the system, install the extender card, we'll turn the system on again. Now the 5 gigabit per second signals must travel across the motherboard, through the connector, through the backplane, and across the connector to the load board. Look at the scope here to see the signal that the load board is receiving. You can see that this signal is completely degraded with no signal I. This makes it all but impossible for a receiver to recover the PCI Express data, and this system would not work. This example is with only a short, almost ideal extender card with straight traces, no vias, and no adjacent noise sources. Now, we'll use an extender card with the Paracom PCI Express Gen 2 redrivers. This card has 15 inches of trace on each side of the redriver for a total of 30 inches. This is a reasonable distance for a backplane, and it's three inches longer on each side than the passive extender. I power down the system, install the redriver extender card, and restart the system. Looking at the scope, you now see a nice clean waveform with an open eye and good margins which a receiving device can easily capture. This clearly shows the benefit of a Paracom redriver in restoring signal quality. This system will now run reliably and perform optimally because of the redriver. To be complete, I'll reinstall the graphics card at the top of the extender to verify its operation despite being two and a half feet from the host. I power down the system, install the graphics card, and restart the system. You can see the images are displayed cleanly on the monitor as we boot to Windows. You may wonder how a redriver works. At its core, a redriver is a very high-speed analog device. For signals coming into the redriver, an equalizer filters out unwanted frequencies and noise and boosts the target signal for best reception. At the redriver output, signals can be pre-compensated for losses with increased swing level. Together with wave shaping using emphasis techniques, the signal is better capable of driving long traces to deliver a good signal to the receiver. Paracom redrivers offer the ability to configure the levels of equalization, output swing, and emphasis. 
This gives the board designer the flexibility to place the reed driver wherever it best fits the design and still achieve optimal signal performance. Paracom has a different reed driver device for each specific protocol, so there are no trade-offs in features or performance. Paracom reed drivers are already used today by many of the top server, storage, PC, and notebook manufacturers worldwide because they are robust and reliable. If you would like a demonstration of a Paracom reed driver, either complete the registration form at paracom.com slash redriver or send an email to redriver at paracom.com. Thank you for watching.